Hello everyone. Okay, um, I'm doing this video today and it's a little bit different than the videos I normally do. Um, this is kind of a movie tag video, but I wasn't really tagged in it. It was done by a YouTuber that I watch and absolutely adore, so hello to you. His name is Movie Humania. I loved your video. Thank you for doing it. I loved your answers and this is my spin on the questions that you gave. Okay, so for number one, favorite movie of all time. Um, I'm going to kind of twist this and say it's a movie that I can watch over and over, so what movie could you rewatch and you love? <laughs> I guess because I couldn't really choose one. In high school, I would have been like, oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. It's my favorite ever, and I do love that movie. Um, however, there's too many to choose from to just say one, so the movie that I can sit down and watch over and over and over and never get sick of, um, I would say is Twister. Um, and I know that's so random. A lot of people would be like, what? Um, but Twister with Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt, it is... Uh, a great movie. I love that movie. I don't know what it is about it, but um, yeah, I could sit down and rewatch that a hundred times. Okay, so, and I actually have. So, <laughs> okay, number two, favorite scene from that movie. Towards the end of that movie, um, they're running from the final F5 tornado and they're looking for shelter, so they're running in these barns and stuff, kind of trying to escape this uh, tornado. And they get into this one barn and there's like machetes and um, chains and things hanging from the ceiling. And Bill Paxton's character, you know, they get in there and they're looking for somewhere safe and he's like, who are these people, you know, because um, it's obviously terribly dangerous to stay in there. So, yeah, that was my favorite scene in that movie. Um, number three, favorite actor, actress. Um, way too many actresses to choose from. Um, I have a couple that I listed, but favorite actor, for sure, Johnny Depp. He's so versatile. I mean, the first movie I ever saw him in was Edward Scissorhands, and I loved him from the get-go. Um, I'll always love him um, and everything he is. I mean, he can go from you know, a really unique Edward Scissorhand character to a really eccentric pirate, you know, and he can do anything, you know, Benny and June, um, his, just his voice, even for like, you know, the corpse bride and things. I mean, he's amazing. I mean, Willy Wonka, I just, it, I could go on, but I love him to death. Um, actresses, I actually named three. Um, normally I would say Natalie Portman right off. I love Natalie Portman. Um, first movie I ever saw her in was The Professional when she was really little. Um, I saw that when I was really young, too. Probably younger than I should have been, but I, like I said, movie buff. Years and years of, you know, watching him. So, I guess, um, and if I didn't say Natalie Portman, um, I would say I have three. Natalie Portman, Sandra Bullock, and Julia Roberts. I have so much respect for those actresses. Um, you know, they're not the actresses that will do anything for money, if you know what I mean. Um, they do quality movies, and I absolutely love them. So, yes. Sandra Bullock, Julia Roberts, and Natalie Portman is probably my number one. Okay, um, number four, most annoying actor, actress. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I kind of feel bad um, saying that someone annoys me, uh, I guess, but if I had to choose number one, um, well, it's hard, really. It's usually females who would bug me. Um, but the guy from Fred, that movie Fred, it's like a Nickelodeon thing or something. Oh my goodness, I never even, I, I tried to watch five minutes of that one day when I was like really bored. Whoever that kid is, awful. I don't, he, oh, oh, awful. Um, and okay, so that kid and then I put down Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I don't even know if that's like, um, she kind of bugs me. Uh, and my husband would say, uh, Bella from Twilight, Kristen Stewart. He can't stand her. He can't, well, mainly it's her character in that movie. He cannot stand her. Um, as I, too, by the last movie, I was kind of over her whole, oh, I'm so innocent. Yeah, I'll get hurt. So, yeah, I was kind of done with that. So, yeah, um, that's number four. Number five, uh, favorite directors. Ugh, this was a hard one. I'm not too familiar with a lot of directors. Um, so, what I did was I just picked a bunch of my favorite movies and looked who directed them, if that makes sense. Um, Steven Spielberg. I would have to go with Steven Spielberg uh, because I find that any movie he's ever had an inkling of a say-so in, it's been amazing. So, I mean, um, he didn't direct The Goonies, I believe. Who did? Uh, Don Donner? Richard Donner? I think Richard Donner did that one. Um, but Steven Spielberg, like, um, produced it or whatever. So, that was very good. Um, E.T., Jaws. I mean, he's amazing. So, he's my pick. Um, let's see. Oh, and Jurassic Park, too. I love Jurassic Park. Number six, I think is what I'm on. Guilty Pleasures. This is uh, something that I guess I could be like, yeah, I love watching that. Uh, um, probably two things. Uh, I put down Rugrats for number one. Well, this is what I wrote. I put down Rugrats because when I was growing up, that's the only cartoon I would watch, and I loved it. 
um, and then leave it to Beaver. A lot of times when I'm about to go to bed, you know, the, the like, I think it was, what, 50s maybe? Four, 50s? 60s? I don't know when it was made, but um, leave it to Beaver. I absolutely love that show. Um, it's Barbara Billingsley, um, and I'm blanking on the kid's name, but I absolutely love Leave it to Beaver. Um, okay, Jerry Mathers, that's it. Okay, so next would be number seven, favorite tearjerker. Um, this one was kind of hard. <clears throat> I put, what I put down is not actually the answer I want to give, even though I, it's hard to choose because I cry during a lot of different movies, um, but I put down, okay, when I think of a favorite tearjerker, it has to be a movie that is still a favorite, even though it makes me cry, because with me, if a movie makes me cry, I don't uh, want to watch it more than a couple times, you know, even if it's a magnificent movie, if it makes me cry, I usually can't go back to it, or I'll have a hard time watching it again, because I know <clears throat> that I'm going to get that feeling, and I don't want to feel like that, so, um, I'd have to say Ever Scissor Hands, that is a movie, I have that, mm, where is that, um, this one, Ever Scissor Hands, uh, every time I watch it, I do cry when he gets beaten up. I don't know why. I mean, I do know why. It's super sad, and he's so sweet and unique, and he can't help that he's, you know, all, you know. But I really love that movie, and I cry every time I watch it. So that's my favorite tearjerker, I think, because I, I actually have seen that, like, a hundred times, and I do cry, you know, almost every time. Um, okay. And the other two that I had down was Ghost and The Cure. If you've never seen The Cure with Joseph uh, Mozzillo, I think. I wrote it all down. And then Ghost with Demi Moore and um, Patrick Swayze. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, The Cure was really sad. It's about a little boy who has cancer. And the ending is like uh, Brad Renfro's character. He actually died. Rest in peace. I'm sorry. Um, I loved him. I really did. Um, but Brad Renfro and Joseph Mazzello was in it. Joseph Mazzello's little boy from Jaws. No, I'm sorry, not Jaws. Um... Jurassic Park, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, he's a little boy from Jurassic Park. And whenever he um, he died in that movie, I guess if I gave away the end, I'm sorry. But, oh my goodness, I bawled. And that's, honestly, I truly, I bawled. Um, okay, so, <clears throat> but I find myself not being able to watch that movie a ton of times because it's super, super sad. So, Ghost was sad too. I mean, when I watch that movie, I feel Demi Moore's pain. Like, oh, Oh, so, so sad. But I have a hard time watching it. So I can't say it's a favorite. Because, you know, I only watch it... I've only seen it, like, maybe five times, you know? But okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting sick. Number eight. Character from a movie that scared you most. Oh, this is easy. Um, when I first saw Scream, I couldn't use a theater bathroom forever. Um, Urban Legends. It's this movie starring, um, I think, Judd Nelson. If I'm wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, kind of scatterbrained, but... I think Judd Nelson's in that, and I believe he is. If not, it's a guy who looks just like him. I don't know. I don't know who else stars in it. I only saw it, like, two times because scared the dead. Oh, wait. That's not it. Yes, Urban Legends. That one was really scary. Spiral Staircase. That's the Judd Nelson movie. I am all over it. Do you see this? Okay, Spiral Staircase that had, I think, Judd Nelson in it. I don't know who else stars in that, but that movie wigged me out. It's a bunch of people in a mansion on this island that can't get really get off. Um... And they kind of all live there. There's, like, nurses and stuff. and But there's, like, a killer there as well. Scared the mess out of me. And Judd Nelson is in that. And uh, Urban Legend is uh, basically about an urban legend that goes around this college campus or this kind of college -y town. And uh, there's all these murders with someone in a hood. And, like, oh, my gosh. It freaked me out. Still freaks me out. And scary movies don't scare me, but uh, that scared me. Okay, um, and Scream, like I said, about the bathroom. Okay, movie you love, everyone hates. This was really hard. Um, I can't think of a movie that I like that anyone hates, um, but I know that every time I ask my brother or anyone to watch Twister with me, they always say no. So I'm going to go with Twister. Uh, number 10, movie you hate, everyone loves. Um, this was very hard because I don't really know what other people love that I dislike. So I named two, Untamed Heart, because... I assume that's a real, I mean, I know it's a good movie, but I hate watching it because it ends so, so sadly. Um, it is uh, Christian Slater and Melissa Tomei. I don't, see, that's the thing, though. I guess it's not a good answer. I don't hate it. I just 
hate it because it ends so sad. Um, but okay. Um, and House of Wax. My sister loves that movie. And that's the only reason I, I put that one down. It's like um, Alicia Cuthbert and Chad Michael Murray. And it's, you know, about a house. It's a horror movie. House, wax, melts. Uh, you know, I don't know. It's, I didn't like it at all. I don't even think I finished it. I, and that's, that's unusual for me. And I love Chad Michael Murray. I was a One Tree Hill, like, fanatic. But I just couldn't get into it. <clears throat> okay. Next. Um, favorite movie duo. I do not have a favorite movie duo that I can think of. However, I have a TV duo. And that is Sean and Gus from Psych. If you've not seen Psych, go watch it. I love that show. And they could not have casted a better Sean and Gus. My husband and I were always, like, doing that because Sean and Gus always... And they're so quick with their puns and, like, the goofiness that they do. My favorite TV duo would have to be Sean and Gus. And then I also wrote down um, Olivia and Elliot from Law & Order SVU. For 12 seasons, I believe, 11 or 12 seasons, they stole my heart. They are the best um, partners ever, um, besides Sean and Gus, of course. Which, if I'm going to say pick one, I'll choose Sean and Gus, I think, because they're hilarious. Um, and uh, obviously, Olivia and Elliot have a lot more like emotional, heart to heart moments, which oh, I absolutely love. So, they're my two duo picks, I guess. Okay, next. Oh, and if you wanted to know who plays Sean and Gus, um, Sean is, I'm sorry, I can't think right off the top of my head. I know I know it, but, um, I can't think of their names. If I do, I'll mention it later, I'm sure. Okay, number 12. Uh, fave animated films. Ooh. Every Disney movie ever. Any Disney movie, you name it. But if I had to pick one, it's going to be probably either Snow White or Mulan. I, I love Mulan. I really do. Um, these are, these are kind of my favorites. And I have Diamond Editions because I'm, I, my 10th anniversary for my husband and I being married, I want every single Disney Diamond Edition that I can possibly get my hands on. That was what I told him I wanted for my 10 year. Um, I don't know if that'll happen, but that's what I wanted. Um, but yes, I would say also Finding Nemo. Um, but yes, Snow White, Mulan, and Finding Nemo. Number 13, actor, actress you have a crush on. Um, uh... I guess I wrote down two, uh, obviously. Um, didn't take that much time to think about. Um, I love Channing Tatum. He's a good time. And Jeremy Renner. I don't know what it is about that man. Hawkeye. Mm, I don't know. I love Jeremy Renner. Okay, 14. Um, favorite movie villain. Um, okay. First of all, I must talk about this man. Um, I don't know his name. Oh, that's dreadful. I don't know his real name. And, uh... Okay, it's not a movie, um, but the show Once Upon a Time, um, there is a man uh, who plays Rumpelstiltskin on that show, and he deserves an Oscar. It is a show, a go find it, I don't know, I think maybe ABC or something, I don't know, um, but the man who plays Rumpelstiltskin, he is phenomenal. I mean, I don't, I, and he's a big actor too, I mean, he's relatively big, I've only seen him in like maybe two things, but um, he's amazing, and as Rumpelstiltskin, you know, he has that evil, he's supposed to be an evil demeanor, but he's, he's like, he's on that fine line of good and evil. Like he, sometimes he helps, but it's selfishly and sometimes he hurts, you know, selfishly. So, um, when he turns into Rumpelstiltskin in the show, um, he has this whole like, you know, he has this giggle that he does and he's like, hey, dearie, you know, and he has this like, I mean, he's amazing. I can't even imitate it. I, I look crazy, but he's amazing. I wish I would have wrote down his name. Um, and, obviously, um, the evil queen, Snow White, loved her. And also, um, I must say that um, anytime, and this is a very broad answer, but anytime I watch any movie about witches, Hocus Pocus, um, Hansel and Gretel, I love that movie. And every time I watch it, I am, like, the only person who roots for the witch. I don't know why. I love Halloween movies in general. Anything Halloween, like, it's my favorite. And I always, I'm, I'm root for the witch. I don't know why. Um... Like, Double Double Toil and Trouble, the Mary Kane Ashley movie. I root for the witch. I don't know why. It's just like, I don't know. Loris, Loris Leachman was like, she was meant to play a witch. Like, I just love her. I don't even know. Okay. Um, who is your least favorite director? I did not have an answer for this one. Um, 17. Uh, oh, 15. Sorry. Uh, what movie surprised you? That was, I skipped that one. Um, I did not have an answer for that one either, though. That's probably why I accidentally skipped it. Um, I just, uh, a movie that surprised me. I don't know. Um, I, I truly, I don't know. 
Um, who is your least favorite director? Again, I, I don't know. 17. Favorite book turned movie? Um, Matilda. I love this book. And I love the movie. I love Matilda. It's great. It's good. It's good. Um, and I'm so glad I got a copy of this. It's at a used bookstore for like two twenty five, dollars And so, yeah, I was... It's my favorite book turned movie. Definitely. I could watch that movie over and over, too. I have. 18. Um, what's a movie that has changed or had a significant impact on your life? <clears throat> this one was a kind of difficult one. I wrote down two, and I'm just, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to give you my answers. Um, at the end of Aaron Brockovich, which is a Julia Roberts movie, um, uh, basically where she kind of um, helps out a lawyer in the end or whatever um, and wins this big case kind of a thing, I felt, like, really empowered as a woman, I guess, because I was so proud of her. In a weird, I know, it's so weird. Oh. Um, but Aaron Brockovich, I loved that movie. Um, and another one, this movie is probably my first choice for this ant for this question. Um, I don't know why, but the movie Stand By Me with River Phoenix. <sighs> Again, rest in peace. I loved you. Um, so sad that he passed. Um, but River Phoenix and Jerry O'Connell and um, I can't remember the other two boys in it. But that movie... Um, was amazing. Um, every time I watch it, it's it gets me. I don't know what it is. I guess because you know these innocent boys, you know they're they're just trying to find their way. You know River Phoenix's character has a really rough rough time. He has a rough you know life there, and they go on this you know walking this railway looking for a dead missing boy. You know, and they find him, and you know them dealing with that, and then you know you have your funny moments like the leeches and that entire movie. I mean, every time I see it, it just. I own it somewhere. I can't find it right now, but every time I see it, it just, it gets me. I don't know what it is, but it gets me. Okay, um, favorite movie quote of all time. Um, okay, this one is from, my quote is from The Sandlot. Um, this movie is Tom Guiri, and I wrote it all down here. Hold on. Okay, favorite movie quote of all time. It's probably... Uh, the quote where they're talking about uh, s'mores and the boy who, his name's Patrick Renna and he plays Ham Porter and he's talking to Tom Guiri's character, um, Scotty Smalls, and he's asking him if he wants some s'mores and Scotty Smalls was very sheltered, didn't have a lot of friends, so he says, s'more what? And uh, Patrick uh, Renna's character, he's like, s'mores, do you want s'mores? And, you know, he's like, why, what do I, how can I want some more of anything? I haven't had anything. And he's like, you're killing me, Smalls. That is probably, I say that to people all the time. I was actually trying to fix a computer at work, and I was talking to the tech on the phone, and um, he was making me do this computer process like 10 times. He had me do it over and over for probably 30 minutes, and I, he was like, all right, do it one more time, and I was like, oh, you're killing me, Smalls. So I say that. I actually say it to people. It's probably one of my favorite quotes that I repeat often. So yes, that's it, and then Okay, I have one more. I added this question on there um, as a number 20. That was the last of the questions. Um, and it's it wasn't on there, but it's what is your favorite uh, movie score? You know, like the music or soundtrack to a movie. Um, and I had to go with, um, I actually had three. And I know this wasn't even on there. I, don't, I just wanted to talk about it. Um, favorite movie scores. These three movies, actually, that's probably not true. I have four. Pirates of the Caribbean. I own the soundtrack. It's amazing. Um, Klaus, Klaus, Klaus Badelt, or Bel I don't know how to pronounce it, but amazing. And it's just the soundtrack. There's not even really words. It's just the, the score. It's beautiful. Best soundtrack. Uh, I actually own this one as well. It's amazing. Um, I believe on the soundtrack you've got Fru Fru. I think Mumford and Son. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I'm not certain. It may just be Fru Fru and then there's, um, I can't remember everyone, but it's a really, really good soundtrack. I really loved it. And then um, you have Immortal Beloved. This my lunch. This movie is really, really good. Um, it's the story of Beethoven, and it's it, this movie is really sad too. It kind of made me cry, but it's a really good movie. Wonderful. And Gary Oldman is amazing. And then last but not least is Phantom of the Opera. I love that movie. So that was my questions. I hope you enjoyed it. This video is a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. But I really enjoyed doing it. And so, yeah, I really appreciate you guys watching. And thank you, Movie Humania, I think that's your name. And I hope you enjoyed. Bye!